uh, change the subject. I have to x plus three y equals five. I want to make y the subject. So what is the first step? Minus two x. Minus two x here and minus two x here. So cancel them out. So three y equals five minus two x. What is the next step? Divide, uh... Divided by three. Divided by three. So uh, y equals five over three or five minus two x all over the by, by three, okay. We have here w equals three c plus five over c. I wanna make c the subject. So first step, we can switch off, uh, switch off sides. We can write three c plus five over c equals w. Then what is the next? I wanna get eliminate I want to get rid of this C. How can we eliminate this C? By multiplying by C by C both sides. So multiply by C here and multiply by C here. Okay. So cancel C and C. We ended up with 3C plus 5 equals W multiplied by C. It's a WC. Okay. I want to make, we have here two times of C contains T, C. This time contains C and this time contains C. I wanna collect them in one side. So what shall we do? Minus WC here and minus WC here, okay? So we cancel them. So 3C minus WC plus five equals zero. I wanna move this five to the next side. So minus five here and minus five here, okay? Yeah. Cancel five and minus five. We ended up with three C minus WC equals minus five. Zero minus five, it's minus five. What is the next? We can take C as a factor here. It's three C minus WC, T take C as a factor, okay? So when taking C as a factor, you will get three, three minus, minus W, w multiple, equals what? Minus five. What is the next? Divide by all times of this expression. Divide by three minus W and divide by here, three minus W. Cancel them out. So C equals what? Minus five divided by three minus W. That's it. I wanna make Y as a subject. So we multiply the by three C to get rid of 3C, cancel them out. So B multiplied by 3C, it will be 3PC equals, I have here two multiplied by C minus Y. So it's two, expand two times C, it's a two C. And two times negative Y, it's a negative two Y. What is the next step? What is the next step? Minus two C. Minus two C here and minus two C here. That's right, cancel them out. So three PC minus two C, equals what? Minus 2y. What is the next? Divided by 2. Divided by negative 2. Because I want to make y the subject, not negative y. So divide by negative 2. And here divide by negative 2. So we can write it as y equals 3pc minus 2c all divided by negative 2. That's it. We have here uh, C equals 7X minus over 3X plus 5 plus X over X. I want to make X the subject. So we have here two fractions. That is the first fraction and that is the second fraction. I want to write them as a single fraction. So look at the denominator. We have here X and here 3X. So multiply here by 3 at the top and 3 at the bottom. Okay. So it will be C equals 7X as it minus 2 over 3X plus multiply by 3. So three times five, it will be what, 15, and three times x, three x over, x times three, three x. So they are, they are now two fractions with the same denominator, three x. So we can write them as a single fraction. We can write down three x and add the top to the top, seven x minus two plus 15 plus three x. All of them equal C. So C equals. We can collect like terms. Slide it up. 7x and 3x equals? Uh, 7x plus 8x. 
7x plus 3x. 3x اه equal 10x. 10x. And negative 2 plus 15 uh, plus 13. 15. All divided by 3x. What is the next step, please? Quickly. Multiply by what? Multiply by x, uh, 3x. Great. Multiply by 3x here. And here multiply by 3x. Cancel them out. So you ended up with 3x multiplied by c. It will be 3xc equals. We have here 10x plus 13. What is the next? I want to make x in one side. I want to make x in one side. We have here a term with x and here a term with x. So we can subtract the minus 10x here and minus 10x here. Okay, cancel them out. So 3xc minus 10x equals what? 13. What is the next? Uh, Take x as a factor. When taking x as a factor, we are left with 3c minus 10. 10. Great. Equals what? 13. 16. What is the next? Divided by 3c minus 10 here. And here divided by 3c minus 10. So x equals right here, because I don't have much room here. So x equals what? 13 over 3c minus 10. OK? The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r to the power of 3 and the area equals 4 pi r to the power of 2. I want to make r the subject. You know, they are multiplying. It's 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubic. I want to make r the subject. That's the volume of the sphere. So we can switch of signs. We can write it as 4 over 3 pi r to the power of 3 equals v. OK? So how can we get rid of this 3? Multiply by 3 both sides. So here multiply by 3, and here multiply by 3. Cancel them out. So it's 4 pi r to the power of 3 equals what? 3v. OK? I want to get r. You know, they are multiplying. It's 4 times pi times r to the power of 3. So divide by 4 pi. Divide by four by both sides. Okay. So cancel them out. So r to the power of three equals what? Equals three v over four pi. And to get r, because r uh, is raised to the power of three to get r, so take the cubic root if you remember. So r is the cubic root of three v over four pi. Now I change it the subject. R now is the subject. So here, if I want to make R the subject, that's the area of the sphere. So the first step, switch of sides, we can write it as 4 pi R to the power of 2 equals area. Then divide by 4 pi, and here divide by 4 pi, OK? Cancel them out. You ended up with R to the power of 2 equals A divided by 4 pi. Then what is the radius? It's the square root. Great. Square root of A over 4 pi. That's it.